Hi, this video focuses on inventory valuation, but as per US standard ASC 330, ASC stands for Accounting Standard Codification. I've already created a video on IS2 inventory valuation. In IS2 inventory valuation, inventory is to be valued as per lower of cost or NRV, means lower of historical cost or net realizable value, but that is as per IS2. And IS2 also does not recommend last in first out, LIFO. But as per American standard ASC 330, LIFO can still be used. Here we do value inventory as per LCM, which is lower of cost or market value, not lower of cost or NRV, but lower of cost or market value. And here the market value is designated market value. Hi, I'm the Commerce Specialist. Welcome to my channel where you find video covering learning outcomes of various academic qualifications and professional certifications, including life-changing business ideas and hacks. So let's talk about ASC 330. So here I have designed a question. Uh, there are four products, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie and Tango. Historical cost is given 14, 16, 28 and 32. These are per unit historical cost. Historical cost means the cost at which you purchase these units. Estimated selling price per unit is also given $20, 20, 38 and 40. Cost, necessary cost to sell is $2 each. Normal profit margin is also given as 30%, 27%, 26 and 20. Normal profit we will calculate. Replacement cost is also given. That means if we purchase these units as of today, it will cost $15 per unit, 14.5, 39 and $28 per unit. So now we are going to discuss how to apply LCM, which is lower of cost of market when we're talking about LIFO as per ASC 330. So first of all, we need to calculate something called ceiling. So I'm just writing here ceiling, which is actually net realizable value, which is basically selling price minus expenses and cost necessary to sell. So if you look at here, we have selling prices, we have cost necessary to sell. So 20 minus 2 will give you a ceiling of 18. 20 minus 2 again, we will get a ceiling of 18. 38 minus 2 will get a ceiling of 36. And 40 minus 2 will get a ceiling of 38. So as per AC 330, ceiling is basically called net realizable value, which is estimated selling price minus necessary cost and expenses to make the sale possible. The next important element we need to calculate is called floor. So when we are calculating floor, floor is basically NRV minus normal profit. So we already have NRV here. We need to calculate normal profit like Normal profit is 30%, 30% of selling price. So 30% of 20 will be 6. 27% of 20 will be 5.4. 26% of 38 will be $10. And 20% of 40 would be $8. Now that we have normal profit figures, we can simply subtract it from NRV to get floor. So we have NRV here 18, 18 minus normal profit 6 will give us a floor of 12. 18 minus 5.4 will give us 12.6 if I'm not wrong. 36 minus 10 will give us 24, 26 and 38 minus 8 will give you a floor of 30. Basically floor means the minimum price. Now as I said, as per AC 330, Inventory is to be valued using LCM. LCM stands for lower of cost or market value. But here market value means designated market value. So we need to learn how to calculate and how to arrive at designated market value. So if you're calculating designated market value, what we have to do is looking at replacement cost, which is given in the question, dealing on NRV, or floor which we just calculated, what we have to do is we have to arrange them in ascending order. So let's suppose I'm talking about alpha. So 
Ascending order means the lower first and the highest letter. So lowest is 12. So I'm going to write 12. Then the second highest is 15. I'm arranging them in ascending order. And then 18. So the middle value is called designated market value. So my designated market value here will be 15. Likewise, if I pick Bravo and arrange these three in ascending order, so I will have 12.6, I will have 14.5 and 18. So the middle value is 14.5. This would be my designated market value. Likewise, if I arrange these three, so the middle value will be 36. So I'm taking this as 36. And if I arrange this, the middle value will be 30. So my designated market value is 30. So now that we have the designated market value, as per ASC 330, inventory is to be valued, applying the concept of LCM, which is lower of cost or designated market value. By cost, we mean historical cost and designated market value we just calculated. So let's see what is the lower. So if we look at historical cost, these are historical cost. And these are designated market value. So if I look at alpha, its historical cost is 14 and designated market value is 15. So I'm going to take the lower, which is 14, $14. Likewise, if I look at Bravo, the historical cost is 16. Designated market value is 14.5. So I will take the lower, which is 14.5. For Charlie, the historical cost is 28. And the designated market value is 36. I have to take the lower, which is 28. So I'm taking 28 here. And finally, for Tango, the historical cost is 32. And the designated market value is 30. So I'm going to take the lower, which is 30. And in the end, I'll add all this. It will give me the value of closing inventory, which is $86.5. Guy, the entire question is based on the assumption that I have one units of each product. But if there are many units, for example, if I have 10,000 units of alpha, what I'm going to do is, first I calculate the LCM, which is lower of cost or designated market value, which is 14. And then I multiply it by 10,000 units. So that will give me the LCM for alpha. Similarly, for Bravo, Charlie and Tango, as many units are there. Once you have calculated LCM for one unit, you multiply by the number of units. In the end, you do the grand total, you'll get the value. Guys, this video is specifically for CMA students who are doing CMA part one. It is equally important for ACCA students because in many papers, these days the trend is that they do ask the comparison between GAAP and IFRS international accounting standard and accounting standard codification, so on and so forth. So for ACC student, this is for knowledge purposes and for CMA students, definitely it's part of your syllabus. Guys, if you have any queries relating to this topic, do leave a comment. I will reply to you as usual. If you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe my channel. That's one way you show that you value my work. If you like this video, please share it with your dear and near ones so that others can also benefit. Thank you so very much for your precious time. Love you all.